what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel it has been a minute but damn it we're back so essentially the last month i have been off for personal reasons uh work got chaotic i have my son a majority of the time now and just the timing didn't match up right and i couldn't figure it out uh to be completely transparent in the last few days i have been dealing with a massive amount of depression because i've been considering deleting this channel um, life getting in the way and everything else. And, uh, honestly, it really had me down. And then I remembered a line that I heard. It's a quote or something I heard a long time ago. So you have 24 usable hours in the day. Depending on what you do with them, you can make the most of it. And I thought about that and I'm like, okay, so my kiddo goes to bed about eight thirty nine o'clock at night. I think I can take three hours out of my life and, uh, kind of push the sleep schedule a little bit. And start making videos and streaming. So I'm going to be streaming Diablo 4 for a while. Um, I'm going to still do videos and stuff like that. And everything. I believe I got my uh, editing software figured out. And I'm going to start making Champions videos again. So, with all that being said, it is Halloween. So I'm going to showcase Becky Two Bites today. She is one of the newest zombies to drop this month. I was lucky enough to get her and Zombie Live. Zombie Live is going to be another video. Um, I'm on the fast track, hopefully today, to be able to get Zombie Cody. <clears throat> the problem that arises with that, I stocked up all my powerhouse tokens, and I blew all of them uh, in one very quick shot. Uh, Raquel got six star bronze, Piper got six star bronze, and then I got Zombie Live and scraped the bottom of the barrel for every little token I could find, and I took Zombie Live to six star bronze. So that's three female powerhouses that got taken up in the last month and a half, so I have zero to no tokens left for powerhouses. So here's the plan for this so far. Zombie Live is going to go six star silver. She's earned that spot. She's absolutely phenomenal. You'll see that in her video. After Zombie Live, once I get Cody, I'll take Cody up. Um, I've got too many powerhouse projects right now, and I've been slacking on doing the Taker uh, stipulation tours, so getting him is kind of on the back burner. So a lot of the powerhouses aren't going to be fully set up for Feud yet. This is where I'm going with that. But that's all down the line. So, Zombie Becky. Two very viable builds. Um, in the past, I've said multiple times that I don't like running multiple triple blacks because I don't quite have the trainers for that because I don't have an affiliation belt on Xavier and uh, Dakota Kai, for the females at least, takes triple black all the way because she has drip plate. But with Becky Two Bites, I figured out that I can actually run her triple black during feuds along with Dakota at triple black with different trainers. So this is how I ran her for this last feud. This helped out quite a bit, actually. Um, the only thing I'd really switch out, to be honest with you, is Rocky Johnson for Zombie Edge. Uh, Zombie Edge is now on my roster after not having him for years and years and years. And I just took Nikita up to six-star bronze. She's going to be another one I showcase um, in the next, hopefully, few days. Um, absolutely love Nikita. She is my best tech female and she hits like a mac truck once i can get the sheet plate on her she's going to hit 10 times harder so but that's for another video i keep getting sidetracked so basically what i do here is nikki cross gives 100 percent move damage for, or submission damage for her black and you get plus two mp for the black move damian priest the trickster obviously of him is black move start with two more move points multiply gems generated will increase by one that helps our submission right here as well. So we have two of our trainers helping our submission ultimately. And then we have Showboat Nakamura, moves and gems, Trap Countdown Juggernaut, the steel health will steal 100% more health. And then Rocky Johnson for black moves, do, or black submissions do 50% more damage, and they last for one more turn. The one more turn doesn't really, I don't really like it too much, strictly because the submission gems left behind are multiply gems. So there's one extra turn where they can do a blow up a bunch of them if they get lucky or an extra turn for uh, escape artists to possibly trigger and ruin everything. But I'm trying to change my mindset on all the gems have to stay. They have to stay. 
they really don't. I'm doing quite a bit of damage here. So we're looking at 446,665 on her submission for five turns. So two million damage. You know, that's really, that's nothing to really bat an eye at, to be honest, especially against the females. With the majority of them not hitting so hard and it la not lasting very long or cards like Liv that, you know, just go, 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 and you never get a turn, it kind of helps. So um, essentially you go with double barrel drop kick. Deal 115,686 damage, make 25 random gems into trap gems. Broken by your opponent, you're going to deal an additional 160,800 damage and increase your black gem damage by 30% for two turns. If broken by you, with Shinsuke Nakamura being on there, you steal up to 321,600 health. So ultimately, that is a giant kick in the teeth, especially when you combine it with the belly to back suplex which you deal 536,000 damage and make 25 random black or random gems into black gems. Fill up the board, blow up the board, really super nice. For her belt, I went with the anti-bleed belt because I really wanted something to go up against Zombie Bianca's, um, ultimately to shut them down. And with the way the meta has been, a majority of the Zombie Bianca's have an MP plate on them. So if I go with my submission here and everything like that, um, when I do the submission and everything, if they are able to refill up the red, obviously we're going to get hit with a lot of damage from the board being exploded, but the anti bleed's going to stop, you know, the 10 million health getting ripped out from my fingers. I went Fury 2 with a combination of Fury 1. The reason I went with this combination is this metal right here. Um, I have multiples of the uh, Fury 2 blue but they're kind of allocated all the way around already um looks like i only got two thought i had more than that i could have swore i had three. Oh, i do i have a third one so what's most likely going to happen here is i'm going to wind up leveling this sucker up and tossing it on top of becky so that way it's 200 percent. that'll be her ideal setup for me it's full fury two you know 200 percent there that'll be the full thing but that's going to be the blue doesn't apply to this one this is mainly set up for her triple blue, which is one of my favorites, to be honest with you, and something I might lean more towards. You'll see why once I play it. So let's get into this match. We're going to go up against Lita here, and let's just see how quickly she goes down. Now, one of the things I did see during feuds is people putting drip plate on Zombie Becky. And to be honest with you, I feel like that is a very good option. But I also feel like it's kind of a ass backwards way to do it. Um, I'm sure there's multiple, multiple reasons why you don't, or why it works and stuff like that. And I'm probably not running it correctly. Same way with Dakota Kai um, when I first started playing with her. But see, we've already ripped her a quarter of her health down just because of that combination. So that's really sweet. But I'm also liking the fact that submissions drop out, the multiply gems and stuff like that. And one of the beautiful things that I have figured out with her is they really don't need to do too much. It drops immediately. So we're going to do one more match real quick to see if maybe we can do a better board. And I honestly didn't see the damage there either. I wasn't really paying attention. I should probably do that. Um, first real video back after a month or so, maybe longer of actually making videos. So you'll have to forgive me for being just a little bit absent-minded. So ultimately, another way you can run this is so you can see that she's not fully charged yet. So we just come in here, you know, whack with the trap gems. Don't even need the multiply. Let's just see what it does outright damage. So we're looking at 14, 6 million right there off the rip. So I guess that's another reason why the drip plate works. Is you can just hit that. That goes all the way across there. And then you hit this. Drip plate's already triggered. So multiples out there on the board. Ultimately just ripping her health away. Absolute destruction. Absolute. I didn't even need the submission during that time. The submission guess is just mainly there to huh, kind of control the other side, really. So that worked out very nicely. We saw just how strong that trap build is. So don't switch, silly man. Okay, so this 
very, very solid. This was the other belt. Now, I kind of want to, I kind of want to tinker with this real quick. I can't lie to you. I kind of want to tinker with this. So, ultimately, we're going to keep that. We're going to get rid of Rocky here. And we're going to replace him with our new steamboat. Because, why not? Go down that route. And then we're going to replace Nikki right there with Dakota Kai. Now, this ultimately leads into a little bit of shenanigans, in my opinion. Doing 178000 So, I want to see how this works. I saw this before, and I disregarded it because of the fact that I don't have Xavier. Now, that being said, there is different ways to run this and feuds and stuff like that. Tours, obviously, it's going to be something sweet. So we're looking at 15 million health right now. Hit the future forearm smash, which is a 1 MP. All oh, 5 mil off of the rep. So this is pretty freaking sweet, honestly. I'm already enjoying every aspect of this. Let's look at that damage, though. Was that that's all turn one? Holy crap, basket sand. That is okay. So, the way I'm looking at this now is ultimately oh, manage. We don't even need Damien on here. So, I'm actually thinking this is going to be switched because that was significant. That, that was absolutely significant. I like that. I want to do that one more time. I want to see if that, that continues. Because ultimately, this is all turn one. Just fantastic. Everything about this just makes me happy. Yeah, just five million. Done. Right there off of that one MP move. And then you fill up the board. And they're just, it's just waste. They're just gone. Okay, absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. This is probably going to be my main run right now. Because if I can do that, turn one, I don't need the submission. I just don't. And once she goes six star silver, which she's going to be going six star silver during the kickoff, or during the talent up. Um, I believe I'm already set up on everything. Yeah, I just need to get two more vests, and I have all the resources to get that. And we're good on shards. So, yeah. She's going to go six-star silver. Okay, so this is clearly, right here, this is my favorite thus far. Oh, no, I don't want to save that. I want to delete that, actually. Because I want to make sure this is completely set up to the highest potential when it comes to feud. So, I want to throw Xavier on her. Just to make sure that this is set. Because Xavier is going to go off of Dakota Kai, and I think I'm going to go with a different setup for Dakota. Because now that I have Zombie Edge, I really am not too worried about uh, having Akro Nakamura on her. I can always throw him to the side on the coach. And throw, yeah, I've done a couple of things. So he, that can be switched up. I think we'll be okay. So that's going to be our main setup for feud time. Now, this is the other one that drew me in. Triple blue is just outright dummy broken. And the reason I say that is because of the reanimated leg cleaver deals 5,806,666 damage to opponent and self. It doesn't sound fun. You're getting 5 million or almost 6 million health just ripped away from you. By yourself. You're ultimately gutting yourself. But that is counteracted with fight. Deal 223,333 damage and make 30 random gems into leech gems of strength 250,133. If your health is below 75%, then increase your blue MP by 5. And that leads into to the gallows. You That's your finisher, obviously. Deal 268k damage. Not that pleasant for a finisher, but we can survive off that. And choose a 3 by 7 area to swap into blue gems. Now, where this comes into play. I just had to check MP real quick. 
we're going to go move charge. Do, 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 do. Now, I really, really, really wish. Where is he? There is a certain part of me that really wishes that Wes Lee was not black and he was blue. Because I know he's on here for Leech Gems. Yeah, Leech Gems do 10%. I really wish this was blue instead of black, but he is meant for Nikita, so I can't really... I can't really say too much, to be honest with you there. So we're just going to go with blue to start with. And then we focus just essentially like... Um, you can go one of two routes. You can actually generate multiple, or you can do more multiply gems with uh, Bianca, which would kind of help be 35 of those. But I want to increase that. So we're going to go with our trusty leech gem build, which is on quite a few cards now that I have. So Veers, and then Trick Theory, and then also toss in, let's see, what else am I missing here? There might be one leech gem that I'm missing here. Because I know it's Tech Bailey does 12k. And I really think that's the only one that I have. So we just saw her, but I just kind of want to say, oh, um, Seth might actually be better for this because you're adding one more. So we'll try it with Seth instead of Tech Bailey. See how this feels to us. So we're going to do 31 here. This is where the 200% Fury 2 would come into play. Once this is above 100%, it makes a little bit more sense. So we'll go in here and see what this does. Now, the reason why the plate slot is empty right now is I haven't quite figured out what I want to throw on it. <clears throat> There's a portion of me that wants to do an MP. Let's get your 5,806 out the gate, hurting ourselves which ultimately is going to trigger this to increase our health or increase the MP. And then now, so we did half mil there because of our plate or sorry, almost half mil because of our metal. Um, that'll be a lot better. Now, one thing I am considering is if I can do relatively well during uh, this zombie event and get, 30k i guess of the medallions in the next two days i can always get the new or new ultimate bell or ultimate plate and throw it on her which would help and i'll showcase that here in just a second we're just going to wrap this down the center we're sitting at eight million here holy crap basket and a half that was quite the damage right there she still kicked out but that's fine that is perfectly fine you see, now what we can do here is we don't even have to hit that. We don't even have to hit this move. We can just hit that, do the leech gems out, and go in for our kill shot. Turn two, obviously, which isn't too bad. And I'm sure it'll be a lot better um, with the plates I'm thinking of. But that is just gorgeous. So, honestly, there's three different builds I see for Zombie Becky. And to be quite blunt, she is my best acro. There is no question about it. Three viable builds, three very easily done builds that do a lot of damage. You have your control, you have your hit face, and then you have your steal everything out. Heart stopper. <clears throat> so 24,000. I just need to get 20,000 more. When you activate a blue move, increase your blue gem damage by 50% for one turn. So I've seen people talk about this. Um, in regards to d and stuff like that. And I think I saw someone say it to uh, Zombie Becky as well. I didn't understand, but now I fully do. I grabbed these two plates, the Sheriff's Badge and the Last Ride to Hell, because the Sheriff's Badge is going to be going on Mutant Seth and uh, Showboat Seamus. So that way those two are basically one-shotting everything, which will be nice. And then the Last Ride to Hell, I put this for Zombie Taker, because as of this recording... I really only have Taker, Ray, the new Damien, and possibly Cody coming up for zombies. So that leaves me with three good zombies for females, which would be Liv, Becky, and Bianca. So three different classes, so that helps. And then for males, I'll have two powerhouses, an acro, 
and a striker. Now, when it comes to tech, I still do have Z Zombie Dominic, but I don't really plan on using him ever. Uh, his his whole thing just makes me cringe. I just don't appreciate it. I'm probably really stupid for that, but hey, it is what it is. So that is our take on Zombie on Zombie Becky. I know it's a little late. She's been out for about three weeks now. I guarantee you some other streamer has done, or content creator has done a video on her. But hey, I wanted to throw in my two cents. So to be honest, this build is probably going to be the one I lean more towards. The main reason for that is because of that plate. I think that plate would make this a one-shot pony. And yeah, that'll negate any sort of trainer conflicts well i guess i have a trainer conflict with uh nikki cross but in regards to nikki i can always do something different i'll figure that out as time goes by so that's the end of this video thank you guys so much for subscribing we are i want to say seven people away from 100 and i appreciate your guys's continued support even though that i've had the month off it's been great and i'm hoping you guys like all the videos that are coming out so I'm going to leave you the same way I've left you in every video thus far. It is with this. Life can be fun. You allow it to be. See you in the next one.